everybody, it's Jamie from Old Shipping Lines and welcome back to a new video. Now in the video of today, we shall talk about the Red Star Liner, the SS Lapland. She would be owned by the Red Star Line. She was a half-sister to the White Star Line's Big Four. They were similar in many ways, such as the island bridge, four masts and two funnels. But the Lapland had a less luxurious interior. She was built by the famous Holland and Wolf shipyard in Belfast, Ireland. Now the gross tonnage of this vessel would be 17,540 gross registered tons, with her length being 605.8 feet, and she had a beam of 70.8 four feet. She could go a speed of 17 knots and she would be launched on 27 June 1908. On the 10th of April 1909 the SS Lapland began her maiden voyage from Antwerp via Dover to New York City under the Belgian flag. She would have had a role to play shortly after the White Star Liner, the RMS Titanic, sank. In April 1912, the White Star Line charted the SS Lapland to repatriate 172 surviving crew members of the Titanic to the UK, after they had been detained in the USA for investigations. Additionally, the Lapland carried 1,927 bags of mail that were originally meant to be carried by the Titanic. The Lapland arrived in England on the 28th of April, 13 days after the RMS Titanic sank. In 1914 she concluded her final voyage from Antwerp to New York and was subsequently transferred to the International Navigation Company, which was under US ownership. From then on, she commenced her voyages between Liverpool and New York. Now during World War I, on the 29th of October 1914, the SS Lapland started sailing between Liverpool and New York City under the British flag, while being charted by the Cunard Line. On the 29th of September 1916, she embarked on a voyage from Halifax to Liverpool, carrying the Canadian troops of the 150th Battalion of the Canadian Expeditionary Force. In April 1917, the ship hit a naval mine near the Mercy Bar Lightship, but she was able to make it to Liverpool. In June 1917, she was requisitioned and convert it into a troop ship. On the 24th of November 1918, 
she began her first voyage after the armistice. When she sailed from Liverpool to New York for the White Star Line. And on August the 1st, 1919, started her sixth and last round voyage on this service. On September the 16th, 1919, she was reassigned to the Southampton New York route, operating under charter for the White Star Line. She completed three round trips on this route, with the last one beginning on November the 27th, 1919. On the 3rd of January 1920, she resumed service for the Red Star Line, but under the UK flag, when she sailed from Antwerp via Southampton to New York. In 1927, she was transferred to the Leyland Line, and that April she was refitted to carry cabin, tourists and third-class passengers. On the 29th of April 1932, the SS Lapland embarked on her final voyage, sailing between Antwerp, Southampton, Le Havre and New York. In 1932, and 1933, she operated on brief voyages from London to the Mediterranean. From June to September 1933, she transported a total of 5,000 passengers on these voyages. The ship was sold to Japanese buyers for scrap in October 1933. The breaking up of the ship began on the 29th of January 1934 in Osaka. And that is the end to a video. Thank you all so very much for watching. I appreciate the support. If you liked this video, please consider subscribing to the channel. That would help out the channel a lot. And don't forget to click on the video suggested here in the outro, as I'm sure you will enjoy that one as well. Now if you have any comments or thoughts on this video, please leave them in the comment section down below. As well, what ships you would like me to cover next. Now with that out of the way guys, I wish you all a good night or day wherever you are and we will see each other on the next video. Goodbye my friends.